Good morning, everyone. I am Super Derek, and it's time for your JRPG weekly update, starting with a brand new segment that I am tentatively referring to as Last Week in Stupid, brought to you by some poor jackass who worked at a distribution center, stole some stolen merchandise, and sold it on the Facebook Marketplace. That's right, boys and girls, that same Facebook Marketplace that is inseparably linked from your actual identity on Facebook. Also known as that one company that's known so well for its protection of consumer data. <sighs> and just when you don't think this could get any dumber, that stolen merchandise happened to be copies of <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3, guys. That's right, attracting the ire of some of the most litigious companies I can think of, Square Enix and Disney, this guy will soon find himself homeless after the onslaught of lawsuits that I'm sure he's going to incur. But what this really means to everybody else like you and me is that you should really be careful now about when you're searching online for Kingdom Hearts 3 because there are jackasses out there who would love nothing more than to try to spoil us on this game, which is going to be kind of difficult to do because one, Tetsuya Nomura said that the ending and uh, end game videos actually aren't on the discs and they'll be patched in after the release, which is kind of an interesting subject in and of itself, but also as a, as a reader on Reddit pointed out, you can't be spoiled if you don't already know what's going on. <laughs> Security through obscurity, I suppose. But you know, aside from all that, bottom line guys is, uh, don't be one of those people who spoils the game for other people because that's just dumb and also for everybody else. You know, just be careful because there are dumb people out there, such as the guy that I was talking about at the beginning of this segment. Moving on, we do have uh, a little bit of awesome news, and that comes from Cry Games, the people who are making a Grand Blue Fantasy Relink and Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. But the one that I'm really interested in is Relink, which is that uh, game I was talking about in my uh, RPGs that I'm hyped for in 2018. Uh, so the information that we got from them is that the game, well, they released a 14 minute gameplay video, which is pretty exciting in and of itself. I'm kind of torn about whether or not I even want to watch it, but I did see a little bit and what I saw looked pretty exciting. And also we do know that the game is also going to be coming out sometime in 2019 in Japan. And they have confirmed also earlier this year that the game will be getting an English translation. So. That's pretty exciting. So if you are one of those kinds of people out there who is difficult to spoil and just wants to see what's going on, definitely take a look at that 14 minute video because that looks really dope. <laughs> As for new game announcements, we do have uh, a couple sort of. Uh, the Danganronpa trilogy is gonna be remastered and released on the PlayStation 4 here before too long going to be a physical release that includes Danganronpa 1 and 2 Reload, as well as Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. So keep your eyes out for that. Uh, and also, we did get uh, the Nier Automata Game of the Year. It's not year, it's something other than year, but it's basically the Game of the Year edition is going to be coming to PlayStation 4 and Steam in uh, 20, uh, let's see, at the, yes, February 2019. And while that hasn't been confirmed for the States yet, Steam in the States does indicate that the current version will be replaced on February 27th of 2019, which would probably indicate to me that you should look for the, uh, the new Game of the Year edition. If you haven't already picked it up, uh, maybe hold off until the release in 2019. We got a release date update from Destiny Connect, Destiny Connect, for those of you who don't remember, is one of those other games that I'm really excited for that takes place in the year 1999 on December 31st uh, that's supposed to involve some time travel and something to do with the Y2K bug. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but it sounds really interesting and it sounds like a game from, from my childhood, like my stumping grounds was around 1999-2000. Uh, that's when I was in like uh, 7th or 8th grade. and. That was a really interesting time of my life, and I think that it'd be really cool to kind of get to relive a little bit of that through this game. So anyway, point is, the game's been delayed in Japan until March 14th of 2019, 
which if we do end up getting that here in the States, will probably translate to a little bit of a pushback release for us as well. But I'm keeping my hopes up because this game still looks really cool and a delayed game is, as they say, eventually good. I mean, the fact that they're willing to push back the release date on this is a really good sign. We are nearly out of news, but we do have a couple of new games that are coming out this week that might be of interest to you guys. Starting with a game coming to Xbox One called As Divine Hearts 2, and then we also have Cronus Arc coming out on Nintendo Switch this week. But that's about it. It's been a pretty light news week, but I hope that you guys are uh, <laughs> having a good time anyway. I'm guessing this is the calm of the storm, or calm before the storm rather, right before the holiday season, and we're probably going to get some bigger announcements uh, coming up. But anyways, guys, thank you for sticking around, and I will see you all next time. I am Super Derek, and this was all news to me.